the manager came to me and said that he was not able to access any file from our server. Before I knew it, the issue escalated to all over the office. After taking a long time, I was able to open the task manager on the server. On opening it, I saw that an exe was utilizing 100% of CPU resources. The file was actually a virus called msnsgrx exe, uh, which was made a duplicate exe of msn messenger. I was able to resolve this critical situation only through the utilities from Microsoft. First, I opened the network monitor tool. I saw that a lot of traffic was going across the network with the multiple packets being sent and received from the external IPs. After this, I immediately removed the network cable from the server and ran the TCP view and auto run exe utilities from sys internal. After getting all the key points regarding the virus and its location in the system32 folder, I was able to remove it successfully. Entire office is happy with this solution. I got appreciation mails from the my, uh, managers as well, I did a great job, so I feel like a hero. My friend runs a small architectural business in Pune. One day my friend called me and he said that the AutoCAD files are getting corrupted. He wanted me to visit his office and have a look at the situation. After doing a research on the network, I found that only AutoCAD files were getting corrupted and there was no specific reason for the files being getting corrupted. What was needed was something very simple which should solve their problem, which was quick and which was easy for them to work. Uh, I enabled volume shadow copy on a centralized volume and made them save all the business critical files to that volume. Now on that volume the snapshot is being taken every 3 hours. If at all the file goes corrupt or if they mistakenly or accidentally save that file uh, or overwrite that file, they are able to easily recover the earlier version of the file which is not more than 3 hours old. They were very happy with the solution provided and my friend and his colleague gifted me a small gift. It made me feel like a hero. Uh, but I think the hero for the day was volume shadow copy server. Everybody uses mobile now. So what we wanted, using mobile, a person can should be able to open the uh, door of either his home or his car or his office or any anywhere. So we developed a solution where uh, a guest who is uh, frequently tra traveling to different hotels and if he's, if he's a loyalty guest member, so we wanted to equip him using phone key to do all the things using his mobile client, say that includes reservation, that includes check-in, that includes check-out. Even you can open his room's door. We have two components. One is web reservation system, which is developed using ASP.NET and SQL Server. And uh, we have the second component, which actually receives all the messages, which are sent by the user, phone key mobile user, and which are received by that phone key server component, which is developed in VB.NET and the database is again SQL Server. See, Microsoft products always give you advantage that uh, you have a lot of reusable components which are easily available for you and that makes development faster. Making phone key thing happen when we started was really difficult. Using Microsoft tools, it was very simpler and uh, we achieved that in uh, small time. I really feel like a hero and I feel honored that uh, whatever we did, it's being recognized that too by a giant like Microsoft. Indian Cricket League was planning to broadcast matches live on internet using online TV component with evaluated features. The requirement was to integrate on-demand live scorecard to show the latest score scores in near real time to the internet audience without any obstruction to the live TV component. 
there are a lot of design decisions which we took. For performance, we had WCF services, data caching, optimized data sync algorithm. For data integration, we have developed our own modules, scorecard capture subsystem and file dependency subsystem. Uh, for near real-time update of the scorecard, we are using optimized data sync algorithm. The technologies used for this are Microsoft Visual Studio 2008, .NET Framework 3.5, Silverlight 1.0, WCF, ADO.NET, and along with the ASP.NET caching. As far as the user experience goes, the scorecard was shown on the screen in the near real time over the video element in a TV component by keeping the opacity to 50%. This enabled the user not missing the live action while reading the complete scorecard details. The hero is the solution which we have provided. It's the team that we have. It's the passion we have for the technology of Microsoft. In 2004, I come across a very interesting project with Sam State Transport Corporation, which runs more than 1,000 buses across 500 stations in terms of uh, booking tickets. With uh, the earlier system, uh, first thing was because this was decentralized, they have to book one bus at one counter because otherwise there are chances of duplication of tickets. I suggested them a model on Windows platform using SQL Server and ASP as a front end to make it centralized so that from each and every counter anyone can book any ticket from anywhere. This was uh, first of its kind in uh, road transport uh, corporations in entire India. I use internet as a backbone, uh, Windows as a platform, uh, SQL Server as a database and uh, ASP as a front end which I developed in uh, Visual Studio. After this uh, there were a lot of convenience for people to book tickets. There was an increase in revenue because a lot of agents were booking tickets from different different places so they were earning commissions also from them. I definitely feel like a hero but real hero is the technology which made my idea possible. Earlier it was war of worlds, then war of countries, war of businesses, now it's war of individuals. And individuals can only execute their ideas if ample power, ample technology is there.